I do have uh, patterns and the fabrics on that end, um, again, you can go online and look at you know, what kinds of fabrics were they using originally. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, unless you've got a very good budget, sometimes you can't really you know, get your hands on those. There sure. are some good knockoffs and there are some places that will do reproduction uh, fabrics, but again, they can be more pricey. So what we'll do is go to the fabric store. Uh -huh. I mean, I like sometimes if I can to go to Chicago, but that doesn't always in the budget or in the timing. Right. So I might be, uh, it's kind of like going to your refrigerator and seeing, well, okay, <laughs> what do we have? <laughs> right. Here's my recipe, here's what's in there, how can we be creative with what we have? And that's really the way I design, is that I, uh, I have the idea of, you know, I know the play, I've got a sketch, but you'll notice that a lot of my sketches aren't, aren't always colored first because oh, yes. I go out and I see, okay, what's in the fabric store? And that's what I'm going to have access to uh, quickly. It's going to be more in my budget line. And so now I'm going to work with that. And so I often get a lot of my ideas then for what actually ends up in the costume from what I find in the fabric store or what I can put together mm -hmm. from what's available locally. Um, so I really do a lot of local sourcing. And sure. then we do have a lot of fabrics that we've saved. I mean, if over the years, we've got lots of collections of fabrics kind of tucked away that we can pull out and and we also then go down to our own dungeon where we've got pieces we've done before and mm -hmm. we might scavenge we might you know I've done this borrowed for myself many times a dress I built for one production mm -hmm. I like this skirt I'm gonna take that bodice I'm gonna you know take this wedding dress cut it up repurpose it got so it. yeah we so, all kinds of ways to find your raw material and make use of it. Understood. Now what happens if there's a challenge with finding the material and the color that you need because mm -hmm. color communicates exactly. as well? Right. So um, there are, uh, again I mentioned the internet, mm -hmm. it is much more possible now even to shop for your fabric online. It and, is? Yep. <laughs> it's dangerous. And it can be very dangerous <laughs> if you like fabric. Um, now, I like to be able to feel it and really get, you can look sure. at it. If you know something about fabric, you know, well, it's, you know, this weight and you can kind of judge. The best thing is to be able to actually try it out and, and um, you'll see me in a fabric store, you know, going, hanging things up and walking away and li women are looking at me going, what is she doing? <laughs> but I might be layering things to try to visualize what is this going to be like, you know, from a distance because that's going to be, it might look great up close, but then from right. a distance, everything disappears. Yeah, it could fall apart. Not right, going to work. <laughs> I got it.